Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in learning data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding find all the wineries which produce wines by possessing aromas of plum, cherry, rose, or hazelnut, right? Both using Python as well as MySQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in wine magazine interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find all the wineries which produce wines by possessing aromas of plum, cherry, rose or hazelnut. To make it more simple, look only for singular form of the mentioned aromas. So for example, if the description of the winery is like this, like hot tannic and simple with cherry jam and current flavors accompanied by high tart acidity and chili pepper alcohol heat. Therefore, the winery Bella Piazza is expected in the results because it has an aroma of cherry, right? Or it has cherry in their description, right? So basically, we are given a data frame called wine mag underscore p1 and our expected output is a pandas data frame with one column, right? Basically, list of all those wineries which have either of these, right? Plum, cherry, rose or uh, hazelnut in their description. Right, so let's uh, inquire about this data frame, a wine mag underscore P1. So if you look at it, you have the ID, country, description, designation, and all a lot of other stuff. And this is the name of the winery. So basically, if you think about it, right, so this question can be easily done using Boolean indexing, right? You create a filter that wherever your description belongs to any of these words, right, uh, any of these four words, then you keep only those rows. And for those rows, you just return the uh, distinct values of winery column, right? However, it gets somewhat tricky. It is that, you know, there can be words which have these words in between, right? So it can be maybe like there is a word in the description called rosemary right so obviously rosemary is not rose right so you need to exclude those kind of stuff right so basically what we need to do is so we need to create a boolean indexing so first of all you need to create a filter so wine mag underscore p1 and then uh wine mag right wine mag underscore p1 and then from the column called description right because that is what we need to check so description first thing that we should do is we should make all these uh you know uh, characters or alphabets in lowercase right so that it is easier to match and like it does not happen in the final output that you know there was a word cherry but the c was capitalized and it was excluded from our result right that should not happen so what we can do is we can use the lower method but that belongs to string object so we need to write str and then lower right so it will convert all the description into lower right and then what we need to do is we need to use that okay when this uh, column called description should also contain certain words right plum cherry rose or hazelnut so we need to write dot str why because again contains is a method of string object right so str dot contains right and now in this what we need to do is we need to make sure that okay the words could be either plum or could be cherry or could be rose or could be hazelnut right so either of these okay but if you think about it it should be that these words should be stand alone words that is it should be plum cherry rose the spelling of the cherry is wrong right so it should be cherry rose and hazelnut right it sh should not like these words should not be preceded or followed by some other word right so what do we need to do is we need to make sure that if they are you know followed by any letter right between a to z then it should be excluded right so to do that what we can do is we can write another thing so you need to open big brackets right and then this is the sign usually in regex which basically matches a set of you know whatever pattern you are thinking at the beginning of the string right but if this is outside these big brackets right if it is inside then it is basically if you know these words these thing any of these words are preceded or followed by any letter from the english alphabet in lowercase because we have converted everything to lowercase for this description column then you need to ignore that right so now we are saying that okay firstly convert this description column into lowercase and then see if you know it contains a word plum cherry rose and hazelnut 
and is not followed or preceded by any of the alphabets in lower case right so if that is the case then you know basically this is this entire thing is a filter and when you pass it to the wine, wine mag underscore p1 so it acts as a filter a boolean values filter right and only true values are returned in the output okay so now if you look at it you are getting all the columns right all the columns which have those right so for example here if you look at it right so cherries now the question says that cherry like we only need to include the singular form right so this description was not included because it was you know we have been we have the word cherries here it is included because it has the word cherry in the description right similarly if you look at any other description right so here if you look at it right so here again you see cherry right so similarly if you have all the rows where there is any word out of these four and it is not preceded by or you know followed by any other letter so once we have this however make sure that maybe it is possible that you know someone writes in the description red then a dash and then cherry right so if let's say for example if someone writes something like this right red cherry will this you know be in the output yes why because we are saying it should not be preceded or followed by a word from the english letter but dash is not a word right so red cherry will be in the output similarly if someone writes you know cherry uh, and then berry right if someone likes this then again it is not followed by a word it is followed by a forward slash right so it will be in the output as well right so okay now once we have this but we are only you know required to firstly have unique values so what we can do is we can write drop duplicates right and then we are only required to keep one column right winery so we write winery right let me run this let's see what we are getting so now you have all the list of wineries. Uh, I think it should be good. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it. Now let's look at how the corresponding code looks like in MySQL. So if you look at it, it's the same question, right? Uh, expected output is same as well. Uh, if you look at this table, winemag underscore p1, same set of values, columns, etc. So again, here we need to do the same thing that we are only required to keep those rows where the description has uh, has plum, cherry, rose, or hazelnut in that. Uh, so right, well, we can use again regular expressions in this. So we can write from this table called winemag underscore p1. We are only required to keep those rows where lower. We need to convert the description column into lower for the similar reasons that I described for Python. So where lower of the description, reg xp, right? So if this matches a certain pattern, right? And then what is the pattern? Same, right? So you know. Uh, if it is plum right or it is cherry right or it is rose or it is hazelnut right if any of these words appear also it, if they are not preceded by right so a to z right if they are not preceded by or followed by any of these words then you make sure that you return all those right so you run this Right, so now again you have the same stuff, right? Cherries and you have cherry hair, right? You have cherry hair, etc. So once you have this, but again we need to only return the distinct values, right? So distinct values of one column called winery. If I run this, right? So if you look at it, our output now looks exactly like the expected output, right? Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So again, everything is green and this is how we do it again. So very simple question, but you need to be mindful that, you know, uh, when you are using Boolean indexing in Python or using a where clause, make sure that, you know, we, you are not, not only doing plum, cherry, rose or hazelnut, but also doing you know this part that you know it is not preceded or followed by this because if you don't do this right it is just like writing where lower description like you know where lower description like uh, then you write percentage sign or plum percentage sign or lower description like percentage sign cherry percentage sign right and so on 
and what would be the problem in that if you know percentage means match anything before or after so if it is rosemary it will be matched and it will be taken as rose but that is that is going to be wrong right so that is why you cannot do that way so you have to follow this way right uh, let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video